Hello Cancer, welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison, if you're new. I'm also an author, I've written two books so far. If you would like to see what those are about, all the information and links are in the description box below. So welcome, welcome back everyone. Um, we're still going through the Lionsgate portal here. So I've got the Ishtar's Lionsgate card here from the White Light Oracle, which I will be pulling a card for you at the end of this reading from. This is a light themed reading, so we're going to be using the Light Seers Tarot, the Keepers of the Light, and the Energy Oracle. Okay, so let's get this going, see what's going on for you at this time. Hope everybody's doing well. Whoops, sorry about that, guys. All right, what's going on? Just so you guys know, I'm only on three social media platforms right now, here on YouTube, on Facebook, and now on TikTok. I'm doing two-minute summaries of these readings. So if you're on TikTok, you can uh, catch my link down below in the de description box below and follow me, okay? All my links are in the description box. Um, I do offer personal readings for purchase. If you would like one, you can um, message me on Messenger or send me an email and at the email address listed in the description box and I do appreciate uh, tips and donations very much thank you so much so um, my PayPal is in the description box below if you would like to do that thank you so much if you do all right cancer holy moly that was flipping fast um, okay four of wands a happy home harmony joy look at that the 1111 card here okay so that 1111 is a uh, divine union. Let's see what we got here. Oh, king of swords in the reverse. There's a masculine who's being kind of cold, kind of a, being kind of a dick, I guess. He's got sharp words and he's, wow, okay, wow, this, this reading is going quick here. Um, yeah. Okay, so it's like there was harmony at some point, but then somebody, some masculine, uh, got real cold, cut people off. Um, that, you know, this doesn't have to be a person. And so then what happened is, is the Ten of Wands. This is, um, you know, exhaustion, oppression, carrying a very heavy load here, okay? But in this uh, Ten of Wands, this is a bit different in the imagery here. Um, most of the time you'll see a one person carrying a whole bunch of wands and it's, it's really heavy. But here is this person has a yak, okay? So it's like... This is a heavy burden for you, but you do have some help, okay? And somebody who can really help you because when you know when you have a, a bunch a load to carry and you have a beast of burden there to help, that you know that's that's really good. So that's good to see. You have a little bit of help here. You may have had to be the king of swords yourself and leave. You thought this was harmonious but it, uh, apparently it wasn't okay so underneath the four of wands yeah okay ten of swords this person that you trusted really just stabbed you in the back man you're just like all right I can't take anymore you've got two tens here now this and these are the tens that you know are not not exactly the good ones you're going through some emotion here let me just get this card here. What do we got? Yeah, two of pentacles. You you are off balance here. You may have um. You may have if this was you, you may have said something wrong. But I just kind of feel like this is somebody else. You you thought you were happy. This person stabbed you in the back, and I don't think that you had a clue. So there must have been some sort, there's a big cutoff here because of being off balance. You guys could have been fighting about money. What we've got here, the, the two of pentacles is when you've got to borrow from Peter to pay Paul and, you know, everything is kind of topsy-turvy. Um, in, the, in the reverse here, underneath this king of swords, I mean, sometimes the reverse of the two of pentacles will be, you know, like a... Um, achieving balance but right now I think that I, I don't know I think that you're off balance here because of this big upset and then behind it you've got the ten of wands so this is oppression so that you're off balance and it has to do with money in fact I'm feeling like because this two of pentacles is in the reverse you, you probably don't have a lot of money right now this is the only money card that you've got here you've got wands and swords hmm 
Uh oh, hang on. All right, so what we got here, you got an extra card. You got the star in the reverse. Um, you are, I, I feel like you're heading, you're on your way to heal. That This was not what you wanted. Um, see, the star is wish fulfillment. It's healing, you know. This is also the card of Aquarius. So if this king of swords here was an Aquarius, there you go, because the King of Swords is Aquarius, right? So this is in the reverse here, okay? The, this, was, this was your wish fulfillment. This is what you wanted. You see that? Those are, that's really beautiful. And it may have even been a divine union because your extra card here is the Queen of Swords in the reverse, Okay, so you've got 1111, which means divine union. You've got the, the king and the queen of the exact same suit, and they are both in the reverse. You can't match this any better. Okay, so I feel like you guys had a lot of sharp words for each other. This is anger. This is, you know, being vengeful, you know, sharp words, cutting people off. Um, just super angry, okay? Uh, bottom of the deck seven of swords there was some deception this person was trying to get away with something something that they didn't think you saw but somebody tipped you off here yeah you found out what this was you found out that you had been stabbed in the back look at this this is like You found out, you realized that you had to go on a journey, and there you are. Also, 1010, angel number 1010, you might want to go ahead and look that up. Also, 1111, okay? But what, you know, this seven of swords, this could be um, intellectual property. Maybe they were taking your ideas. Maybe they were just copying you. Maybe they were um, trying to say that your ideas were theirs. This is sneaky stuff. Sometimes this can be self-deception too as well, okay? So if somebody was deceiving themselves and then they're telling you about it, really believing it, that's a deception, okay? There is, you know, the, the truth needs to be revealed. And with the, 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 the suit of swords is all about truth. It's all about communication. And with the king and queen of swords in the reverse, there's some untruths here, I believe. There's some lies going on. There, there was lies, all right, let's see what the energy oracle will tell us. I just stepped at the bottom of the deck over there. Yep, somebody was trying to get away with something. Has a lot to do with the mind. Communication, you have a lot of swords here. Yep. Has to do with money. A true divine relationship is not worried about money because a true divine relationship will bring in abundance on a constant basis. Yeah, you wanted a happy family. This is what you wanted. See, four, number four, four of wands. This is what you wanted, and it all just, this person was deceptive. They must have lied to you. They said mean things about you or to you, probably. Uh-huh. Yep. Bottom of the deck, guys. Yin-yang. Can't make this shit up. Okay. Look. This is my book, Perception. This is about masculine and feminine, which is exactly what yin-yang is. See, I've got it right here on the back. Okay. So <clears throat> the divine union of, of the masculine and the feminine, that, that is definitely... Uh, what you call divine union, twin flame, okay? You know, divine unions can happen and, and, and then end. Uh, it just depends on the energy that the two people are um, carrying with them, okay? You could have a really beautiful, highly evolved relationship, and then it starts to deteriorate. And, and that's just because people change. And as you rise in vibration, you will find 
another who is at that vibration, and that will be another divine union. Some people think that it's just one person. I don't, I'm not sure about that right now. We're all one, okay? We're all connected. So a split soul is still one with the rest of the souls out there. See what I'm saying? Oh my God. Okay, Lord Ganesh, infinite abundance. Obstacles are being removed. Spiritual support and connections are increasing. Okay, so Lord Ganesh does move obstacles, okay? Um, so this is what I was talking about. This is what a true divine union brings, is this infinite abundance and a happy family, happiness. Now, um, they're showing me this rainbow, and the rainbow, um, if you don't know about what chakras are, you should look them up. They're energy uh, vortices in our bodies, and when we clear them out, when we balance them, uh, we heal our light body, okay? And this is what brings us happiness and abundance, and, you know, so you might want to work on your chakras. This is indicating here, the star is indicating that there is no healing just yet here. Bottom of the deck, white eagle, ancestor spirit. Connect to your lineage. A family wound or pattern can be healed now. Okay, so white eagle just told you what happened. Okay, this is your ancestors. They're saying, um, cancer, we're sorry we left you with this crap energy. Can you heal it now? Because it's the, it's the descendants that need to be healed so that our family line can rise in vibration. Okay? So whatever happened here is because of your family and the, the patterns and the behaviors um, and with their family as well. Because, you know, like I said, king and queen of swords here. So it's both of y'all. All right, let's see what the white light oracle deck has for you and we'll close out your reading. Yeah, it looks like you're going on a new journey here. Yep, there you are in your ten of wands. But you're headed towards your wish fulfillment. You're headed towards your healing. You know, and if this person that's on your mind is, a, is an Aquarius, they're unhealed. You see what I'm saying? There's always more than one answer. There's always more than one reason for things. I think that's one major thing that the human race really needs to accept, that there's more than... Um, black and white, you know what I mean? There's all the in-between. Okay. Pardon all the noise I'm making here. All right, so you got number 38, Dvara Patra. All right, let's... Well, this looks like the Holy Grail in the Eucharist, doesn't it? Oh, this looks like other stuff, too, but I won't mention it. All right, number 38. 38, 38. I'm just going to read the little italicized part right here in the front. Okay, this is like the, the gist of the, the card. There you can you see it. There you go. Okay. Out of confusion, a clear and progressive pathway is opening up for you. It is an auspicious time to give generously of yourself to others, enriching the quality of your connections, expressing spiritual blessings of goodwill and encouragement from your heart. A powerful blessing is entering your world. A prayer is now being answered in a beautiful way. Spirit gives freely and generously of all good things, and the task of humanity is to learn how to receive. The key to receiving is an open, surrendered, generous, and trusting heart. Okay, so um, that last part tells me another bit about what happened here, okay? Uh, you're, you guys, it's either you or theirs, or probably both, you're caught, it says the key to receiving an open, surrendered, generous, and trusting heart, okay? Uh, so your heart was closed. You were trying to control things. You hadn't surrendered. Um, you were holding back with your money you were, or, or with your love or yourself. You weren't being gen generous. And uh, people were not trusting each other here. Okay, so whether this was you, both of you guys or, or this is what the other person did, these are the things that um, 
were wrong. These are the things that pulled down this union that, that is or could have been divine, was. So there you go. You've got some, spirit is saying, look, this is what you've got waiting for you at the end of this journey. The healing journey is not easy. You really have to dive deep and see who you are, why you behave a certain way, where you got that behavior from, okay, and clear it out. You got to learn to surrender to the divine. You keep moving, but you leave the how, how things will work up, work out only to the divine. You don't tell yourself, I'm never doing this again, because that closes your heart. Okay. This is, um, this is what's waiting for you and it will be worth it. Okay. All right, cancer. That's what I have for you at this time. I hope you enjoyed your reading and I'll see you next time.